Whoops, how are planets born? What do you mean, born? Haven't they always been there? Now you know that in the universe nothing has been there forever, nor will it be there forever. My appetite will be here forever. <laughs> what about the planets? They're born around stars. A star with its planets form a stellar system, and for the moment, the only stellar system that we know is our solar system. And what does this system tell us about their birth, then? All the planets turn as if on some kind of plane at more or less the same height and on a level with the centre of the Sun. Right. We also know that in the beginning, the stars were huge clouds of gas and dust that we call nebulas. Now we think that thanks to the famous universal gravitation, they collapse in on themselves. The attraction or universal gravitation? Now, that's the force that makes all objects in the universe become irresistibly attracted to one another. <laughs> but at the same time, our nebula was spinning around on itself and took on the form of a very thin disk. Mmm, like a giant cookie. And the planets are the tiny chocolate chips. Hmm, something like that. In the coldest regions, that's those furthest away from the centre, thicker and colder balls of material were formed. These gave birth to the planets, whilst the central part started to contract, condense down, warm up and form the sun. Oh! Of all the material that was in the nebula, more than 99% went to make the sun and only 1% was used to make the planets. Ah, just like my cookie. 1% chocolate chip. Oh. The formation of the sun and the planets took place almost at the same time, some four and a half thousand million years ago. And why are there big planets and little planets? Well, in fact, there are two sorts of planets. Those which we call gaseous giants, because they're fundamentally composed of gas. Do you know how many of these there are? Mm, ten million? No, four. Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune. And then there's Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth and Pluto. These are five smaller, more solid planets known as Tellurian planets. So why are there gaseous planets and solid planets? There are two possibilities, but we don't know which is true. The first possibility is that each planet was formed by attracting the kind of material that was around it at the time. So the big planets have eaten gas and the small ones solid stones. The other possibility is that initially there were only big gaseous planets. However, the enormous attraction from the Sun has attracted the layers of gas away from the planets closest to it and just left their solid cores. Food. But whatever happened in the beginning, the result is we're all here together. Food. Goodbye, inhabitants of the third planet from the Sun. Food. were the planets born? They were formed at the same time as the stars in a nebula of gas and dust, which was flattened into a disk. There was one star at the centre, the Sun, which attracted 99% of the disk's material. Then the remaining 1% of the solid and gaseous material formed the planets. 